Ireland number eight, Joy Neville. Joy, this is your ninth season in the Ireland squad. Um, anything changed over those nine years? Absolutely, um, Barry. From the first year playing against the likes of England, to lose by 100 odd points, to being quite competitive against the likes of England to this day. Between that and the professionalism, the management team, the squad, strength and conditioning, I could go on for hours, to be honest. Uh, you've got 58 caps, and there's some discussion. Are, are you the, the second most capped <laughs> player in the, in the Ireland squad? I think Miss Fiona Steve might disagree with me there. We need to uh, look into that a little bit further, how many caps she has in a row. But um, 58 caps, yeah. Um, I think Lynn Cantwell holds the most capped ladies there uh, presently. So um, obviously I'm, it's a great achievement. I'm very proud to be in the situation. Uh, you play your cl club rugby down in UL Bowes, um, but the season can be quite fractured in women's rugby. So there's a lot of challenges coming into the camp now uh, in terms of you, you had a competitive game last week against the Exiles. But you know, can you outline for us some of the challenges for the women's game? Um, well, yeah, well, obviously, between the interprovincials, Six Nations Cup uh, matches, and obviously then the league matches, um, you know, putting the structure in place for the women's, um, for the women's game um, needs to be, a lot of thought needs to be put into it. Um, the club, cup games are, are taking place at the moment, so those who are involved with the Irish squad obviously aren't released to play. Uh, in the cup games, but um, obviously gives um, the, the other players a chance to play more game time. Um, so it's, it's an awful lot to do with the structure of, of, of the women's game. And next week then, uh, first up you've got Wales. That's always a fairly tough game, but uh, Ashburn has become a, a bit of a, a good ground for you guys, hasn't it? I couldn't, uh, I couldn't speak higher about Ashburn, to be honest. Um, the, the welcoming uh, committee that they have there and the promotions they do for, the, for, for Irish women's rugby as well. Uh, the grounds one of the best uh, pitches I've ever played on, um, and they're always so welcoming. I, you know, I, I think we're very lucky to have a, a venue like Ashburn to play in. And uh, the game itself, then, uh, I mean, uh, England probably set the standard in, in women's rugby, yeah. but uh, as you said, you guys are catching up fast. Um, what about Wales? Um, Wales is always a very hard um, opposition um, to play against. Uh, they're very strong. Um, and they have an awful lot of heart when they do play against the likes of ourselves. Um, obviously, any team that we do play against in the Six Nations will be a massive challenge, but um, I always look forward to playing against Wales. It's always a very challenging game, and I'm certainly looking forward to playing against them next Friday. And pulling on the green jersey, I mean, does it still, does it, do you still get that sense of pride? Does it still fill you with that? Absolutely. All the training leading up to it, I don't know if you have the same excitement and buzz as you would have, let's say, about 10 years ago, but. Um, it's the exact same. Putting that jersey on, it's, there's no, there's no better feeling, to be honest. And I'm just privileged to be in the situation that I am in.